Good morning. Welcome to Rococo's Spawn Botanica LLC. Well, not the store, but you know, welcome to our channel. Um, this is my first video, and I'm I may pull some cards, but that's not that's not what I wanted my first video to be about. <clears throat> Excuse my voice, I just woke up. Um, my first video, I didn't, I wanted it to be something personal. You know, I didn't just want to start off just throwing out cards or anything, but I've been getting these nudges to just speak on something. And what I'm about to speak on. It's not something that ain't already been said a thousand times. But it just seems like it can't be said enough. You know, we're coming out of a cycle. And we're going into a new cycle. Everybody's getting blessings and stuff. You know, upgrades, all that good stuff from, from the divine. But what people don't understand is you got to shut up about it. And that's what I'm about to talk about. I, like I said, I might do a quick pick um, a little bit after I say this. But I need to, like I said, I need, if this is something that can't be said enough, shut up. You get blessed. With a new house. Shut up. You get a new job. Shut up. You starting a new relationship. You starting a new business. Shut up about it. Because the truth is, everybody is not going to be happy for you. No. <clears throat> Not everybody's going to be happy about you getting engaged, you upgrading to a new house, you getting a new car. Not everybody is going to be happy for you. Hell, all of them might not be happy for you, but shut up. Stop talking about what you're doing, what you're getting what you're about to do, where you're about to go. Stop talking. I also got this overwhelming sense of regret. It's not for me, but regret. Um, it's remorse. Disappointment. It's because you are talking too much about your plans. Test the spirit. You know, when you're about to do something, and but in the back of your mind, you have some self doubt. Like I'm, I might fail. I might, I might as well not do this. I'm, uh, no. Test. Test the spirit. Stop talking about it. Meaning, don't go tell your plans and your ideas to anybody. Versus as to when you used to go and run and tell your mother, tell your uncle, your auntie. Oh, yeah, auntie. You know, I'm about to start this. That, yeah, yeah. No. Shut up about it and see how far you're going to get. Versus to how far you got when you went running around talking about it. You finna open up a food chain or food truck. This I don't know where that came from, but shut up about it. You want to be the. I got this 
before specifically for a male out here you about to start that black owned multivitamin multi supplement business you need to be quiet about it. your family can't come with you i've said this before i posted this reading on my etsy shop but you know a lot of people don't like to read you know and it's not a jab at ever but people just don't like to read i myself i love reading i love blogging i always love writing and typing i always loved that since i was little but back to what i was saying you do your family not they can't come with you they don't they don't support you they might act like they do but they don't this is for you with that supplement that vitamin black owned vitamin supplement business that you about to start shh shut up move in silence the only person that needs to know, and now this is for everybody the only people that need to know about what you are about to do is you and God Maybe three people. You, God, and a potential business partner. And that's what a limit. I see somebody is about to make a, a music video. And you think about putting all the homies in your video. Don't. Less is more. It's nothing wrong with wanting to put, you know, the hood on and all that, that good stuff it is. But sometimes you can't. Do that video solo bolo. I mean... Of course, you can make, I mean, do what you want. I don't, you know, this is just the messages that I was told to get out. You can do what you want, but you should do your first video solo bolo. And I heard the phrase, less is more. It's going to disappoint a lot of people, but so what? Another thing, you know, if you got to do a shut up spell on yourself, do one. I, me, this, hmm, how can I put this? I'm not new to the game. I'm true to the game. But that doesn't mean I haven't made mistakes, especially when I was a fledgling. Hell, I made mistakes before I fully wake up. Well, fully awakened. Excuse me. When I first started my business, it was... It was wonderful. You know, I was happy. I didn't I didn't make that much. But it wasn't about the money. It was the the point that I created it. It's mine. Could nobody stop me. But you know who sabotaged some stuff? Me. I did. I could have made more. But the reason why I didn't is because I didn't shut up. I didn't shut up about it. And that was 2019. In 20, the beginning of 2020. 
Now we we here 2022. I'm still going. I was skeptical about getting on um YouTube and making the videos. I'm like, everybody doing this. I don't want to jump on a bandwagon, but the mind's like, man, psh. nobody cares about that. And yeah, everybody, anybody can pick up a pack of tarot cards and get on here and throw some cards out and tell what they see. Psh. Easy peasy, right? But then I remember just because one company made sliced bread, that didn't stop the other companies from making sliced bread. You get what I'm saying? This company bread might be softer. This company bread might be sweeter. I like Hawaiian rolls. But I like yeast rolls too, self-rising yeast rolls. Two different companies, two different types of bread. They still are good ass. And the same thing with intuitive readers and people that's really tapped in. That was my insecurity. I didn't want to be like yada, yada, yada. Who was it? I, that's why I prolonged doing this. I had to get out of my comfort zone. Because I was comfortable putting my messages on my business page. Nobody is not really reaching anybody because we are in the age of seeing and movement. And, you know, not everybody is going to go back and like, let me sit down and read this, read this minute. No, nobody does that anymore. And I get that. Me and probably a handful of people probably actually sit down and open up a good book every once in a while, once in a while and, and, you know, read it. Everybody else, we need to see movement. That's what I've been told. So, you know, this is my first video, you know, ever. Everything has just been blocked. Now I'm vlogging. I got to get with the times fully. And that's cool. I do. I don't mind. I'll go cerebellum a couple of videos before I actually show my face. No, that's not because of insecurities. That is because I'm in a process of moving my store to another location. So I won't really have time to sit down and show my face and do this and then. No. I do a, a, a quick pick. Or whatever, whatever spirit basically tells me to do. I'm, hey, I'm here. Ten toes now. But once again, you get an idea. Shut up about it. Keep it to yourself. Talk to spirit about it. Write it down. Get you a journal. Keep that journal close to your heart. Because it's your. That's your seed. That's your baby. Shut up about it. And watch how far you go. Which is. And when you get the inclination that you want to go run and tell your mom, mom, like, look, I got this idea. I want to stop before you do that. And think about these words that I'm about to give to y'all. Close your mouth and don't say shh unless you want to lose all of it. So be your mouth. I said again, in case you didn't catch it simple shut up spell on on yourself i use it all the time when i'm about to go girl you know mm -mm, shut up right we mm -mm, we not doing that this year <laughs> we, we not sh girl, shut up that's what i tell myself and then i'm like close your mouth and don't say shh unless you want to lose all of it 
so be it no okay I'm drawing maybe three cards I pull three cards from my deck quick pick three yep Three forty three, four fifty four, and six thirty six. These are for somebody. I hope you accept them. I'm honored to pull for you, lovely people in Terrell Land. First card that I pulled was. 343 and the significance of this number is a reminder from the spirit realm that you did everything it takes to come this far Ooh. Mm. and that is your happiness in other words you should appreciate yourself for managing your time well more so you are wise because you created decisions that brought you greatness to your life Equally, you will learn everything that you want in your life. Notably, it is necessary to finish what you have started. A shade. 454. Significance. This number indicates that the ideas, thoughts, and visions and desires you have been experience, experiencing excuse me, are an indication that it's time to prioritize your life and make the necessary changes in order to align yourself with your soul's mission and true self. As a result, your desires will come into fruition. Create a plan for yourself in your life. List your short-term and your long-term goals. Find a strategy to achieve them. If you have an idea for a new project or business venture or are considering a better job or career path, Use your creative mind to establish the plan of action and execute them. But remember, shut up about it. Angel number 636. I'm sorry if y'all hear a little twang. My country come out every once in a while. The significance of angel number 636 it's simply a message that encourages you to be patient. Your guardian angels can see the determination in you to, to succeed in life. They see the optimism in you and how much you're willing to sacrifice to ensure you are successful. Angel number 636 brings a message from your angels that you, you have a strong connection with the angelic and spiritual realm. And your ability to manifest abundance has been ensured that you are receiving all that you need to sustain and maintain in your daily life. You can trust that your monetary needs will be met and you are free to pursue your life's mission and purpose with confidence and enthusiasm. Whatever it is that you need will be presented to you when required. I say thank you. Thank you, spirit. Thank you, angels. That was wonderful. That was a good message. But remember, shut up about it. Close your mouth and don't say sh unless you want to lose all of it. Okay. Till next time, TTYL. Thanks for watching.